Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you made it to yet another video. Um, if you've caught my last few, you've seen that we've been doing some vegan baking and today we're going to continue that with a vegan chocolate cake that I guarantee you, you won't be able to tell the difference. Um, I've made this for numerous people and nobody has been able to tell that it's vegan. It is absolutely moist, delicious, and you could taste the chocolate. It's by far my favorite uh, vegan recipe that I have come across so far. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to say thank you for everybody who's been watching these videos and subscribing and giving me um, likes and comments. Uh, I really appreciate those. You know, if, uh, if you like the video, then by all means, please like it, subscribe. You know, I, I'm trying to do some different weight loss, healthy, vegan type stuff on a daily basis. So um, if you're catching this video, if you came across it, then um, please uh, do subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a lot more uh, videos with some weight loss tips, some weight loss recipes, um, just some articles that I come across about weight loss. And so um, please do subscribe. Please do like if you have any questions. If you have any comments, please definitely do put a comment down there. I've replied to all the ones I've gotten so far, whether it be a question or just a comment. Um, Ultimately, what I like to have is like an interactive type thing. If you have any questions or recipes, I'd like you to ask them. Um, I'm up for, always up for making anything. So if you have a request or if there's anything you're curious to, you know, see if it could be done or made, please let me know. I'll certainly look into it. And um, I've been vegan baking for quite a while. I've been baking in general for over 20 years now. So 23 years. So um, please do feel free to comment or ask any questions you like, and um, I'd be happy to help out with whatever I can or however I can. So keep the comments coming, keep the likes coming, keep the subscribers coming, and we'll uh, eventually grow this channel up as a community. And you know, I'll share with you everything I know. And if you have any questions or any tips, or anything you'd like to tell me, uh, that you'd like to share with the viewers, please do. And um, Without further ado, let's get going on this vegan chocolate cake. So what I've done just to get started is I just put two cups of flour into a bowl. That's all I've done. Um, the rest we're going to do together. Uh, the one thing I did do a little while ago that you're going to want to do about 10 to 15 minutes before you actually put the cake together is, um, and I did this just so it would be ready for us to use, uh, you take a cup of milk, um, any kind of vegan milk. Um, I personally like cashew milk. There's almond milk. There's oat milk. Um, there's uh, like protein milks now that have, are made from a derivative of almonds and cashews. And wh however, whichever um, dairy-free or vegan, vegan milk you'd like to use, um, Take a cup of milk, almond milk, uh, I mean, um, cashew milk I used. Take a cup and put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in it. Give it a little swirl and just let it sit aside for 10 minutes while you set everything up and you get all your other ingredients ready. So just keep that all set up and um, it'll be ready to use when the time comes. So we have two cups of flour. To that we're going to add... Um, one and three quarters cups of sugar. This is just regular granulated print, uh, plain white. Um, usually I would use coconut sugar. To that we are also going to add um, three quarters of a cup of cocoa. And for the purpose of this, I used dark cocoa. It's 100% cocoa. Uh, remember, you don't want to use anything under 70% cocoa. Um, to that, we are going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. To that, we are going to also add an additional one and one half teaspoons of baking powder. OK. 
And um, that's it for the dry ingredients. So we grab a whisk and we could just give this a little whisk to start to incorporate all these dry ingredients together. Okay, perfect. Now, now that we have all the dry ingredients um, mixed in, we are going to take our, we can start with the, well, you can start with any of the wet ingredients. Right now, I'm just going to pour in the milk mixture, the cashew milk with the um, apple cider vinegar. You want to give it a little swirl because the idea behind that is to curdle the milk. So uh, give it a little swirl to make sure you get all those curdled bits from the bottom. You want those. Okay. So to that we are also going to add a half a cup of melted coconut oil. Okay, we are going to add two-thirds of a cup of um, unsweetened applesauce. Okay, we are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, and now we're going to give it a nice little stir, gently to get all the stuff from the bottom up. Um, if you want, you could use a hand mixer or a paddle mix to do this, make it a little quicker and easier for you, um, just for the sake of time, counter space and noise level during use. I'm going to just do this quickly by hand. But um, normally I would just give this like a couple of minutes on medium speed with the, with my hand mixer just to give it. But this is actually coming together beautifully already. Oh yeah, this is already comes together perfectly. Okay, so now you have a nice, sort of thickening, thickening batter. batter. Um, the next ingredient, and this is something I should have mentioned earlier so you can get that ready, but when you're making this, throw in a pot of hot water ahead of time. Um, I've had this tea kettle sitting, and to this we are going to add one cup of boiling water. So I've had this uh, set aside on boil, so, okay, so now we're going to add that cup of boiling water, and now that's going to make this a little bit watery, runny when you mix it up. That is completely normal at this stage. Okay, yeah, this is coming together. And once again, um, just for the sake of the video and noise level and time and whatnot, um, I'm just giving this a quick little beat through by hand. But what you can normally do is just to make sure you incorporate the water into the mixture. Um, normally, yeah, I would use a um, hand mixer at this point, but. Okay, so the batter is all together. Um, so now, what I have set aside already are um, two nine-inch pans. 
that I coated with Earth Balance uh, a vegan butter. And you could use parchment paper, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, we're gonna divide this batter into these two nine inch pans as evenly as we can. Okay, so this looks good. So we have our two nine inch pans with half the batter in each. Uh, the batter is all set and ready to go. Um, into the dry ingredients, if you want, you can add like three quarters to a table uh, to a teaspoon of salt if you'd like. I like to leave the salt out, but um, you can add a little bit of salt if you'd like. You, um, no more than a teaspoon for this recipe. So, <clears throat> with everything added in, they're ready to go in the oven. So I have my oven preheated for uh, 350 degrees. These are going to go in for about 15, 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. And um, when they come out of the oven, I'll be right back to show you what they're going to look like. So we're back. The chocolate cake, the vegan cake, is just about to come out of the oven. Um, it's done. These absolutely smell delicious. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, um, I already got us started here just to speed this up. Um, I put a cup of vegan chocolate chunks in here, chocolate chips. Um, like I keep saying, to make them vegan, 70% cocoa or higher. So I put in one cup of vegan chips. I put in a um, quarter cup of melted coconut oil. I put in a quarter cup of cashew milk. And I'm now going to finish it off. I put in, and I put in a dash of kosher salt, since we didn't in the cake. Um, I'm going to just put in, okay, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to turn this burner on low, low medium. And what we're doing here is uh, we're going to make a nice chocolate vegan. Um, frosting for the cake. So what we're doing now is just melting all these ingredients together and um, if you're on the keto diet then I wouldn't recommend this final ingredient but um, just to sweeten it up a little bit I'm going to throw in a third cup of um, powdered sugar, but I'm going to do that after all the ingredients have melted. It'll thicken it up just a little bit and make it just a little bit more sweeter. Um, turn this heat up on this just a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is melt that until it's all combined. Um, once it's all combined, I'm going to take it off the heat, add in the last ingredient, which is a third cup of powdered sugar. Uh, mix it all together. Then I'm going to let it settle down for about 15-20 minutes to room temperature. Then what I'm going to do is put it in the refrigerator, but um, for about 15 minutes or so. Um, but every five minutes or so, go in and give it a little stir. You just want to keep an eye on the consistency and make sure when it gets the right consistency to be able to ice the cake is when you could take it out and um, frost the cake with it.
Speaking of the cake, before I left the first time, um, I believe I said to bake it um, at 350, I think I said for 15 to 20 minutes. It's actually closer to a half hour, like 30, 30 minutes or so. Um, I must have been thinking of one of the uh, cookies that we've made um, over the past couple of days that um, only required 15 minutes. I realized after after I turned it off, I realized what I had said, and I thought 15 minutes sounds a little too short for this. So yeah, it takes about a half hour to fully cook the chocolate cake through. Now this is coming together nicely. We're just going to keep this on the heat until all the cocoa is fully melted, which it's almost now. When it gets to the stage, you can start to give it a nice little stir in all those chunks of chocolate that have not melted or you're just going to dissolve right away into the mixture. And we have basically the, sear, uh, the, um, the, the uh, icing right here is all done. Now, all chunks are melted. This is perfect. Now, like I said, you could put this in the oven as is right now. Um, I'm going to throw in just this third cup of um, powdered sugar. And give that a nice whisk into it as well. And Keep it on the heat while you do this. And it incorporates it almost instantly. So what we have here is a nice chocolate syrup um, that we're going to let solidify just a little bit. And then we are going to ice our cake with this. So. Okay, so we have oven is off. We have the cakes out of the oven. They are set perfect temperature. They're cooling right now. We're going to let the icing come to a room temperature. Then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Like I said, 10, 15 minutes. But check it every few minutes. Give it a little stir until you get the consistency you want. And by then the cakes will be cool enough to take out of the pan. And we'll invert them out. We will um, put the icing on, and we will have a very, very moist, very delicious vegan chocolate cake with a frosting, a chocolate vegan frosting. So um, we're gonna let these cool now. We're gonna let this cool. We're gonna do our thing here, and um, I'll be back to show you what it all looks like all together um, when everything's cooled and assembled. So. I hope you're doing this along with me or are going to try it eventually because this is for a vegan or even if you're just trying to cut out some of the unhealthy ingredients and you're not going completely vegan. I'm not vegan personally, not completely, but um, I do try to incorporate it as much into my diet as I can. Um, I do find that it makes me feel better. I do find that um, it's more healthier. And um, when I'm trying to lose weight, I do find that it is uh, much better for weight control. You know, it's uh, there's no fat burning cake per se, but um, for the ingredients you put in, even if you just substituted the granulated sugar I put in with the coconut sugar, or you could even use like monk fruit or stevia or some kind of uh, other sweetener um, to give it a little bit more sweet, but keeping the sugar off, you can do that as well. Um, but this is a good healthy alternative for uh, dessert, something sweet. So we're gonna let that come to a cooling temperature. We are going to let the frosting uh, harden up a little bit, and then we will be back and I'll show you what it looks like all together. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, the cake is completely cooled, done. It's iced, frosted. 
and um, it smells fantastic. Uh, I've made it before. I could tell you it's probably one of the most moist cakes she'll ever have. Uh, the frosting took uh, not too long, maybe like 10 minutes or so in the fridge, and it's at a nice consistency now. Um, so this, I'll leave the entire um, ingredients and recipe in the description. Uh, this is one that I would definitely recommend you try making. It's one of my absolute favorite recipes, uh, vegan, non-vegan, just in general. It's, it's, uh, it's a super moist, super delicious chocolate cake. So um, we're all done with it. And um, uh, just like I was saying earlier on, if you have any questions, comments, um, tips for other people or other bakers or any, you see other people commenting, comment on it, you know, get a little dialogue going. I'd like to make this like an interactive, you know, I want to hear some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear what you think. If you've tried making it, if you've tried making any of the ingredients, uh, any of the recipes I've left, um, please let me know how they came out. So, um, Cake's done. I'm going to go have a little piece of that. And um, until next time, uh, please comment, like, subscribe, whichever you'd like to do. Just um, keep watching. That's all. If you haven't seen any of the other videos I've made, uh, please do join. Please do subscribe and check out some of the other ones too. I've got a lot of vegan recipes. I've got a lot of... Um, non-vegan recipes going on, um, some good stuff from around St. Patrick's Day, some um, chocolate scones was one that was on there that's non-vegan. Uh, so there's a, a whole bunch of different stuff and I'm posting new recipes pretty much daily. I'm going to try to do something daily, whether it be a recipe or um, just some, you know, health information, some kind of weight loss tip, some kind of weight loss info. Um, I have uh, an awesome video that if you haven't watched the race, you should really check out about a nighttime weight loss drink because I'm just thinking about it now because I'm about to make mine for tonight. And it's a super effective drink and it tastes pretty good. So, you know, it's give that one a watch. And um, until next time, I hope you enjoy. I hope you try making this. And if you do, let me know what you think. Let me know how it comes out for you guys, because, uh, oh, sorry about that. Look at that. It looks beautiful, tastes amazing, so please do give it a try, and I will talk to you all next time.